The polar vortex is just a term given for the current of air that runs around the uh, the pole. It's 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 a jet stream basically, but formed by by temperature contrast when you have cold next to warm. And in the in the winter time, then because it's so cold o- over the Arctic, you get also a vortex over the Arctic. It doesn't normally affect Britain, but over North America, it comes down o- o- over Canada. So this air is basically whipping around the uh, the pole, and it's trapping in in the cold air. Uh, but you get these meanders on on the jet. They're called Rossby waves, just like waves in water. Basically, they're wa- waves that uh, propagate around. But those w- waves can also go uh, unstable, and they can grow, and they go unstable just because of that. Um, the energy that you get from the contrast between the cold and the and the warm air. And it's just if you look at the weather maps right now, you, you see the meanders. It's just that there's a particularly strong meander that's. It's going particularly far south. I mean, I, I grew up actually in a place called Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, I'm a Canadian. And the kind of temperatures that they're getting now are, are not unusual at all up there. It's just that, well, and they're not even that unusual for, for Minnesota, let's say. But what's unusual is that they're getting, well, for, first of all, um, there, there's a strong wind connected with it, which, of course, gives the wind chill. But also, it's getting further south to areas that aren't aren't used to the cold, so they're not used to dealing with icy roads, and they maybe the houses aren't as well insulated. It's an, it's an exceptional wave. It's sort of like a wave of the century that you might get in the ocean. You're always having waves, but sometimes there's just a you know they combine to 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 create a, a big wave. I've seen claims that it's it's the coldest temperature for 50 years or something like that, um, but it'll it'll depend exactly where you are. So it it is quite quite exceptional. Um, but it's, I think, you know, it's the sort of thing that can happen just by chance. If you look at the way that the vortex behaved, it, it looks very normal. It's just that it's a kind of extreme version of that.